Well, today is a big day. It's my very first interview with the friendly folks over at Wildlife Encounters. I don't think they're that friendly, to be honest with you. They've yeah, they're a number of pranks on me over the years. <laughs> oh, I love, uh, it. I love it. You've been, I know you've been waiting for this, and I, I've heard mm -hmm. a few times uh, that Kip is coming back, and I know you're getting excited about this. Yes, I have. And back on the blend today is Kip Smith of Wildlife Encounters. And of course, he's brought along some of his What's friends. Up, What's up, guys? Hey, I haven't seen this guy. This is Hank, right? Yeah. Hank he's, came, I don't know how long ago was he? He was about probably, this big, right? Yeah, he, oh yeah, I think even smaller. Big, you can you fit know, him right in your hand. He's a little tiny up. guy, yeah. And he still so has a lot of growing to do too. He can get up to about 60 pounds. So he's probably maybe 20 right now, if it, that. Explain so, what Hank is. Uh, he's an African crested porcupine. So we have porcupines here in Nebraska. We have the North American porcupine. If you touch those guys, they have barbs in their quills. He will try to eat your shoes. Um, <laughs> they have barbs. So if you touch the North American and get stuck in you, he does not have those barbs, so you can pet him. He's not yeah. going to get stuck into you. But his quills are sharp, though. He is, yeah. yeah they I are actually, sharp, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like they tell you, don't go backwards. Like, don't pet him backwards. Yeah, of course, right. I had to do it to see what it felt <laughs> yeah. like. Well, so. You can try it. Like it'll, it'll, it'll poke, poke you. Yeah. yeah, so if you kind of pet backwards, it'll stab you a little bit. He kind of like, he kind of be, he, we had the Humane Society on here yesterday or two days ago, and mm -hmm. He's kind of behaving like one of the dogs. He, I mean, that dog yeah, is he's wild. kind of like a dog. Yes, <laughs> he is. He's least yeah. trained. And Hank is, I'm horrible with time. I think he's probably, what, like nine months? He's under nine a year. Months? I know yeah. that yeah. for sure. So and somewhere around there. You brought yep. him in when he was just a baby, right? Yep. Yeah. So he was just so a little good. tiny guy, and you yeah. could hold him basically in one hand. So so do they make good pets? Do they make yeah. good pets? These no? guys typically know. Um, they're mm -hmm. very friendly. They'll pick out two people that they like. Uh, actually, Ashley's here with me today. And <laughs> well, Ashley Ash and me are the only ones that work with Hank because he bonds with us. Uh, otherwise, he doesn't like really, it's not that he doesn't oh like them, God. he just doesn't trust them yet. Other Hold people. on, I don't know if we can turn Ashley's mic on, but Ashley was kind of trying to tell something to Kelly over here. Well, uh, what was going on? What did you say, Ashley? She asked if he would eat the peel of the banana. Yeah, will he oh, eat the peel? He'll eat the, the, whole the fruit thing. part first, and then he'll try to eat the pill. Oh, he will eat the pill. Yeah, we usually don't totally let him eat the pill. throw the pill away. He will. I'm <laughs> Snapchatting on air right now. What? Yeah, what are you doing right now? I felt like this was too, I had to. I was Snapchatting this. Oh my gosh. Feeding, I'm feeding a porcupine, These Mike. It's kind of a big deal. These millennials. These millennials. Oh, millennials. <laughs> Sorry, we're not all baby boomers. <laughs> hey, I love it. Whoa, I love it. So they, what else do they eat? Uh, his favorite foods are sweet potatoes, grasses, flowers, dandelions, mm -hmm. bananas, yeah. things like that. There's also a food that we that's actually a porcupine food, and he'll eat that as well. Yeah. But it's really cool. If something happened, if there was a loud noise, he would take all these quills, he'd stick them straight up in the air. Yeah, yeah it pops straight and up. He jumped earlier he, when we were uh, getting ready for the show. Yep. Uh, Jake came over here and startled him, and he popped up. And Jake's kind of yeah, flexed yeah, his. I don't know Jake's what he's up crazy. to. He startles <laughs> me every day too. Jake does that. It's crazy. They have really bad eyesight, so something just moves in front of him. His natural instinct is to pop those quills right. up and just to make sure it it's is, safe. And then he yep. goes back. Then he goes back. Yeah, they sleep with their eyes open, so this way they're always alert. He knows what's going on. Does he blink? Just make sure. Does he have eyelids? They have eyelids. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And he yeah. holds the food himself. So we gave him a little sweet potato there. It's actually one of his favorite. His probably his top favorite food, and he'll hold it with his own hands. And Are they dirty? They make big messes? They or? smell. Yeah, yeah, they have a scent gland. You can smell them now. They, they stink. Yeah. Um, and, and they're and just I, kind of a stinky animal. I imagine it'd be hard but, to give him a bath, isn't it? Uh, he actually likes water. He swims. Yeah. So with Hank, no, not at all. But you can't uh, rub him with soap. I mean, how do you, like, scrub We have him? a brush that we use. Okay. Yep. And he actually just, he'll sit there and just hang out with you. He likes it. He loves running in water. Um, he has a swimming pool that he likes to swim in as well. Now, if anyone's curious, because I was curious what Hank felt like, really, yeah. with these. It's yeah. kind of like plastic. I mean, he feels plastic. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah, kinda sharp like plastic. It is. Um, sharp plastic. And you yeah, wouldn't think that unusual. this would be comfortable to wear this attire every day. That's for sure. <laughs> but. Yeah, yep, okay. and they, they fall out. They shed those quills. So they'll shed those and they get new quills in. It's yeah. essentially a hair. That's all yeah. it is. It's just a hard feels, hair. Oh, yeah. I feel the sharp ones on my toe. But it's not yeah. hurting. It's not painful. <laughs> well, this. Okay, so you got Hank. And what then, else we got? We got Hank. We've got this guy, too. Oh. Uh, we'll keep Hank out here so you can see him. This is a hedgehog. So similar defense mechanism. So the hedgehog has spines. These guys have quills. Yeah. Uh, if a hedgehog gets scared, he curls his body up in a little ball. And we can show you that. If we roll him on his back, he actually naturally oh, curls up goes. in a little yeah. tiny ball. So this way he can easily protect How himself. How do you feel about me holding him? Can I do Oh, yeah, that? you can hold him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's super friendly. They are no, so do they, cute. No, do these they make good pets? Sure. These guys, yeah, they can make good pets. Is it a hedgehog? Uh, yeah. I need a like, hedgehog. Any small you little animal, they can smell. Is that as big as he gets? Yep, that's full size for these guys. They were illegal in Omaha like three or four years ago, but yeah. then they reversed that so you can have these as pets now. Oh, and they wow. can make a good pet. They're easy to care for. They are. Uh, are they like hamsters or guinea pigs? I think they're better than hamsters. They don't Why? bite. Their oh. natural instinct is to curl up in a ball. Right. So for little kids, they actually work oh, a little sorry, better. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> so they actually You're work a little better. You're kind of throwing him around there, <laughs> Throwing him around, Mike. <laughs> and they have a good sense of smell, too. So if you watch his
So it's just the color? Yep, just generally just the color, and a little larger typically too. <laughs> What's up, Hank? Really, he was better for you. I might <laughs> yeah. not be doing this very well. And they eat bugs and insects. So they use that nose to smell, see what's going on around him. So what we're going to do <laughs> is we're actually going to put him in our bathrooms because we have <laughs> some <laughs> bugs in there right now. Oh, oh, yeah. People do. Uh, in Europe, they actually release these guys yeah, in gardens and they eat all the insects. starting to poke me, so I'm handing them off. Well, he does <laughs> kind of poke. He does yeah, he poke. pokes a little bit. Yeah. Yep. The gravy. He's I'm scared. nervous <laughs> for you. I know. He does poke. Well, watch, <laughs> he's go watch where he's going here. Well, I got the head. You don't want to be on Jimmy Kimmel again. I got the other thing between my legs and then this hedgehog on <laughs> yeah, top just don't, here. Just will don't he move fall? your legs because Hank will stab you. <laughs> yeah, I don't just want to. Watch out for him. This guy. Always is, entertaining. Ouch. Should we give him ouch. back? Should we give him back? Give okay. this thing back to Ash. <laughs> He's not nearly as pokey as the porcupines. He'd be totally fine. You just get used to it after a while, I guess. I, I guess you oh, do. Oh, do they, do they, do they play together? No, not really. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 He's scared of the hedgehog. He's scared no. of the hedgehog, Hank. <laughs> that's Hank. cool because he kind of wanted to see oh, the Oh, we're not put him right under Mike's Well, it's, just, it's a new scared. set, so he's <laughs> trying to figure out what it is. So yeah, look, just he's puffed those, up right just now. Just to make sure wow. he's nice and protected. Okay. So they'll smell each other. Okay, smell. Yep, so then he's used to it. Once he knows it's the hedgehog, he'll Well, this is fun. What other animals do you have that we can- Yeah, you want to grab one more? we can create with them and get all them playing together. We'll grab our next one. Our next guy doesn't play with Hank. It doesn't work too well. Is, it, is um, Hank going to be okay over here with Oh, yeah. Hank will be fine. Can, can you go oh, back like every yeah. week? We need you to come here every I week. I so imagine this, Hank's going to be upset. Here, you can take Hank here if you want. There you go. So this is an This guy you can hold. He's really yeah. easy. Just support his chest and the base of his tail, just like that. Yeah, no and big deal. Totally <laughs> no big deal. You got him? Oh, I got <laughs> him. <laughs> so this is a North American alligator. Uh, we can tell he's an alligator, just the shape of his snout. That's usually yeah. the best way. Alligators, rounded snout. Crocodiles generally going to be a pointed yeah. snout. Are you they? Get, okay. Yeah. You got his snout, his <laughs> snout tape shut. <laughs> yep, we did. Just make sure not to put their fingers there. We can take that off. It's not, he's not going to do anything to you. I he's look really over friendly. and she's just holding the porcupine like a little baby. <laughs> Jake, Jake, you got to get a picture of You got to get, yeah, that <laughs> is gonna, hilarious. That is Hank, funny. Hank, will let, Hank actually likes to be held. That's why he just He's chills. like a little baby over there. Oh, yeah. He gets you, a rock in. in the morning, if you don't pick Hank up, he cries. He oh, are you comes up to us and he puts his hands on your legs. Baby. And he makes a crying noise, and you have to pick him up. So, so he just chills like that. I'm, I'm obviously new with you guys. It's my first interview. Where do you keep all of these animals at? Oh, uh, we're located in Gretna. Okay. Yep. So they have a compound. A compound. They have like a place. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's it's not, not like right. all these guys are in your house. Right <laughs> no, now. yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, Hank was in my house. I bottle fed him when he was young, and it, it's terrible. They smell. They chew on everything. So yeah, I wouldn't want them in my house. No, uh, I have a dog in my house. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. The porcupine. Yeah. How big will this guy get? <laughs> uh, if it's a male, like 14, 15 feet, thousand pounds. Yeah. Females are smaller than that. I'm How kind old of is he? Uh, we don't know his exact age. Maybe around two, three years old. Yeah. Maybe four. Uh, I was found in Lincoln. Uh, a landlord went into his home, and the person had the alligator as a pet, but he boarded up the the bathroom, and the alligator was found in there and uh, Dr. Dennis Ferraro who's a herpetologist for yeah. the University of Nebraska found him brought him back to health and then gave him back to us. We do have cases that where people try to keep these as pets they get yep. too big then they kind of release them out into the yeah, you don't want to release these guys. Can't survive uh, yeah. here in Nebraska. Not a good pet. You know, they just get too big. There's tons of reptiles that make good pets. Ooh, you just really <laughs> tensed up, man. These don't make a good really pet. They just get too big. Up. Kelly. I just want to see how close you let it go, but you really like just I saw you. I'll give him a little kiss. <laughs> He's got his kiss. mouth tape shut. Uh, well, Here, you can try to put your fingers in his mouth. We can take this off. Oh, oh, now we're getting crazy. Yeah, you are getting crazy, Kim. Here, we'll put this here. Any word on the otter? <laughs> no words on the otter yet. Here, we'll open up his mouth. Okay. If Wait, you want to try, time, let's wanna... uh, take your hand, make it flat like this. On the count of three, you're going to put it in his mouth. And you're gonna like pull this? Out. Okay, yep. See, I okay? wouldn't do this. You no, why would you do that? Oh! <laughs> No, you don't know I'll Kip. I'll do it. No, that's you don't a know horrible Kip. idea. They don't say exactly. that. Yeah. Idea. You don't know Kip like I know Kip. You don't do anything oh, they'll this say. guy says. Yeah. But they no. say Kelly will do anything. No. I really Wild don't know. Wildlife okay, encounters. Yeah, you never want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to shoot over here. Wildlifeencounters.org <laughs> is website you can go to, Kip. we got to go, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, Thank you for coming. Ashley, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Tell Hank goodbye. We appreciate it. Guess who 